If you're a heating and air conditioning technician or even a salesperson, what do you need to know about the body language of lying and why does it matter? This is an important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, I want to give you a heads up that anytime that we talk about body language, it's a clue. It's a clue. So there is the possibility that you're wrong, just like there's a possibility that I'm wrong. So with that being said, whenever you're talking about body language, you always have to baseline. You always have to take a look at the way that that person is in the wild, in, in nature. And so when we talk about lying, there's the possibility of you being wrong. And there's a reason why I'm saying this twice is because you don't want to go down the path of claiming that somebody's lying when they're not. It's just you get to see something that they don't recognize that they're doing naturally. That's the benefit of you knowing body language in this is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So here is what happens. I'm gonna give you a couple of different examples. There's a thing called a mismatch. And so if I say, I really hate, I really hate sour cream, which I do, I don't like sour cream. Right? If you notice my head was going up and down for yes, I really hate sour cream, right? My head was going down, up and down for yes, it should be, I, I really don't like sour cream. That's a mismatch. That's a possibility. Okay, it's a, it doesn't mean it's exact, it's a possibility. Okay, the other thing is, is when you talk with people, look for pursed lips. People will purse their lips. Either way. So that's one way that you can tell that there might be some clues that they're not telling you the truth. Once again, it's not exact, like it's, it's a clue. Like, wait a minute, there's something going on here that's an issue. Now let's talk about noses. So there's this thing called Pinocchio effect. And the Pinocchio effect says that if you're not telling the truth, that you're going to lie. Like you're gonna to touch, your, touch your nose. And I know a technician that this guy touches his nose like every 10 seconds. So it doesn't mean that he's lying every 10 seconds. Once again, you gotta baseline people and, and see what's going on. So you got the mismatch, you've got pursed lips, and you got the nose that people will typically touch. And sometimes, sometimes when people are lying, they will lick their lips. Right? Sometimes they're going to lick their lips. And so these are things for you to pay attention to. It gives you a clue. Sometimes you don't have to address it. You just go, ah, it's like playing poker. Like there's a tell here going on and I can realize that this is a situation for this person and I can recognize it. I might change my playbook for the conversations that I have. There you go. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I send out a video. You'll get an update that says HVAC Technician Sales Secrets. Send out another fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon.